Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to SPSS tutorial number 19 of my SPSS tutorial videos. So, uh, we're already coming a long way. We've already had 19 episodes, so slowly but surely you're progressing in the wonderful world of SPSS on this journey together with me. And today we're going to take another look at multiple linear regression and we're going to take a look at the moderating variables uh, like we did last episode and today we're going to make calculations with those. So uh, to shortly sum up last episode because I do recommend watching especially episode 17, uh, uh, episode 18, episode 18 and also episode 10 and like all regression videos. I, I recommend watching those which you're not obligated to do so uh, because I'll explain the most important things in this uh, episode as well. If this video is helpful to you in any way, shape or form, then please leave a like on this video and subscribe to this channel because I want to make BuzzBSS grow as much as possible and you, you can really help me achieve that dream. So please leave a like, subscribe to this channel and if you have any questions whatsoever, then feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. So, okay, the model we're again looking at today is this one. We're going to take a look at the relationship between job and income. Job is a categorical variable uh, and uh, it's in job tiers and the effect on income. As we could see over here in the previous episodes, we could see that if your job tier increases, so if, you're, uh, if you move up from job tier 1 to job tier 2, then your income increases from 20,000 to 38,000 uh, a year. So uh, there's a direct relationship between uh, job and income. But what we found out in the last episode is that there is actually a significant moderator present, being gender. So gender has a significant effect on the effect between job and income. Or in other words, the effect between job and income differs per the gender groups. And it turned out that uh, men have a significantly higher effect from job to income than women. So if men move up a job tier, their income increases more than when women move up a job tier. That's last episode uh, uh, explained really, really quickly. Um, and you can see that uh, at the most, uh, at the very final value of a regression uh, analysis in the coefficients table, you can see that the interaction variable we made uh, was significant. So, in other words, there's a significant difference between men and women in their relationship between job and income. So today we're going to take a look at the calculation, so at the formula, and it's the biggest formula there is. Um, and if you want to know, for example, you have a, mo uh, you have a model like this so with an independent variable and uh, uh, a moderator, uh, then the formula to make a calculation is y, being the dependent, is b0 plus the value of the first independent variable times the slope plus the value of the second variable times uh, second independent variable times its slope plus the again the value of the first variable times again the value of the fir fir second independent variable times the slope of the interaction variable. So if you would write that out, uh, dependent is constant plus uh, now yeah, and then uh, dependent and then uh, all of this again. So the dependent is in this case income, and the constant we can take a look at our regression at our regression model at the last one. I've already explained last episode that the constant is two thousand. And the constant is the value of the dependent when all independent, are, uh, independent variables are zero. So your income is zero, is a 2000 when job is zero, so when you don't have a job, and when gender is zero. So when you're in this case a female, because females are gender zero and males are gender one. So if you're a female without a job, then your income is 2000. That's the constant, also known as the intercept. So that's the first value in our very long formula. So the constant is 2000. Let's say that we want to know the income of a male 
who is in the job tier 3. What we're first going to take a look at is the value of job. Well, we said that it's going to be job tier 3. And then you're going to multiply that with the slope of the, of the job tier. And if you go to job and look at the slope, it says it's 18,000. And it's also significant. All values are significant, all slopes. Uh, so we do 3 times 18,000. Plus the value of the uh, second uh, independent variable, which is gender. We said that we wanted to look at the mill. And mill have gender 1 times the slope of gender. Then you just go back to the model. We look at gender and we see that the slope is minus 9000. If you want to know how this can be minus 9000 and this one 18000, then please take a look at previous episodes because I explain it uh, quite elaborately in that one. Uh, times minus 9000 plus and then you do uh, plus and then you uh, have the value of the first independent variable again times the value of the second independent variable so again 3 times 1 3 being the job tier 1 being the gender value times the slope of the interaction variable which is in this case 4000 then you can take out your calc uh, and I can also fill it in here income is job 3 times in this case uh, 18,000 plus gender in this case 1 times uh, minus 9,000 plus job uh, being again 3 times gender being 1 times the interaction slope of 4,000 is and if you then take out your calculator you'll find out that that value is 59,000. Also, don't forget the constant. Uh, so the slope of the uh, yeah the slope of the constant. So 2,000 is your starting income if you're a female and you're uh, you don't have a job. Then if you move up to job tier three, you do three times the slope of job, which is 18,000. Plus you uh, you move up one gender tier because you go from a female to a male. So it's 1 times the uh, slope of gender, which is minus 9,000, plus, and then you do the two values again, so 3 times 1 times the interaction variable of 4,000 equals a total of 59,000. So if, you, uh, if, you're a male in, uh, if you're a male in job tier 3, then you earn 59,000. We're going to do another one. But this time we're going to calculate the income of a female uh, who is in job tier 2. So we're going to write it out. Income is the constant or intercept is still the same. So uh, 2000 plus the job, which in this case is 2, times uh, 18,000. Because that's the uh, slope of job. Plus the gender, which is this times 0, times minus 9,000. So minus 9,000 times 0 is of course 0. Plus job, uh, which is again 2, times uh, gender, which in this case is 0, times the interaction variable, which is 4,000. And as you can see, uh, job, uh, to, uh, job with the value 2, times gender is 0 times 4000 is 0. So this section is 0. Uh, gender being 0 times the slope of 9000 for gender is also 0. So the income of a woman who is uh, in job tier 2 is only this selection. Uh, so which is 2000 plus job tier 2 times the slope of a uh, job which is 18000 which is 36,000 plus 2,000 is 38,000. Okay, so that's how, you can, uh, can you, that's how you can make calculations with a multiple linear regression uh, model, which includes moderators. So that's going to be the end of moderators for now. The next video, I'll try to uh, make a brief summary 
of the difference between uh, moderators, mediators, and confounders. But for now, uh, this is the end of the episode. If it was helpful, then please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, it would be really helpful to me. I want to make this channel grow. grow. Please help me out. Um, so I see you guys in the next episode. Bye.